Now we're going to go through the operational aspects of the next generation TCX 515. Generally, the operation of this new generation works much like the old did. Okay, in most places they're identical. Even though there are many, many construction differences, such as the uh, improvements to the side shovel, to the blade hub, to the cylinder, um, the additional cylinder power, all of those things remain uh, operationally the same. When we use our side shovel, it is still a power out system. So it's still got that quick and easy bead breaking capability. When we come to our tabletop, you can see that the design has changed, okay? The tabletop capability for its base configuration is up to 22 inch. If we need to go larger, instead of adding adapters as we have done in the past, we simply take these knobs and we flip them out and now we have gained 24 inch capability. We want to go to 26 inch capability. We come to the other end of the cylinders, take the knobs, flip them again, and we're now 26 inch capability. Whereas in the past, we had to use the, uh, the adapters that you had to keep track of and so forth. Um, now we basically have it built into the tabletop. Clearly when you're doing OEM rims, you'll generally use it in the more normal, narrower configuration. This means the tabletop is a little bit more compact. So when we set our rim diameters, we use our diameter marks and our marks on our tabletop to preset our diameter, much like we always have, okay? And we could put our tire and rim on here. A revised BP, you can see it's a, it's a simpler, cleaner design, no adjustment mechanism because we have a lot of travel now. So there is no need to have the individual adjustment on the table. So again, we can press into the jaws using the press cone. We can use the BP, as you know, create a gap for our mount head. The configuration is familiar in the sense that it is still a swing arm changer with adjustment knobs. This also helps us create a gap for our bead lever. Press down on the opposite side. As with the current BP, we can use the hook. Hold that tire up a little bit so I can make it a little easier to get my bottom bead over here. That additional travel on the shaft is very beneficial there as well.
Just like the current 515 model, you saw the power of the 220 volt uh, 110 system. I was able to start and stop. The motor and drive system on this tire changer is the same one that we've been using on the current generation. So again, a, a new generation of five, TCX 515. This generation is more about um, durability, robustness, reducing adapters on the tabletop, and uh, simplifying operation. But the overall operational aspects that we're very familiar with and our customers are very familiar with remain the same.